you've created a video and it was just perfect. It was your best edit yet. Your cuts were smooth. Your camera settings were perfect. The music was just tied in ever so perfectly. You showed it even to a couple family members and friends to get their opinion, already knowing that they're gonna tell you the video was fire. Send it off to the client and there's 20 timestamps of re-edits. Now tell me you guys haven't ran into this situation before. Now whether you're a very amateur or very professional, this can happen to anyone. What's up guys, Rosette Production here, and today I want to shed some light on how to deal with picky clients and how to deal with certain situations. Now when you get hit with a bunch of re-edits that maybe you don't even agree with, now when this happens, you need to keep an open mind. Every now and then I will get re-edit after re-edit and just a long list of them. I look at everything, I sit back, take a deep breath, and I just go through each and every one of those edits one by one by one and I just slowly chop through it and make the edits accordingly. Now while I'm making those edits, let's say the fourth or fifth timestamp, um, they want a scene change or they didn't like the scene, they felt it maybe didn't fit. Depending on the clip, if I feel that I can replace it or recolor it or um, just manipulate the clip somehow, then I'll bring that up with the client, I'll make note of that, but I won't just say you know, I don't think we should get rid of this clip, it's really good. I don't like to leave open-ended responses with clients when I am making any sort of re-edits. I feel that I just like to get to the point and be very transparent because at the end of the day, you as a creator should have um, some sort of grounds as to, you know, what should be changed from the video and what shouldn't be changed. Another thing too, when you do get hit with a bunch of re-edits that maybe you don't totally agree with, keep in mind that this will actually make you into a more patient creative as a whole. The more this happens, the more that you will learn how to deal with these situations. Again, for me, I like to just take a deep breath and go through every single edit one by one and just chop it down until I come up with a new draft for the client. Not only that, but this will really make you appreciate the clients that will run with your first draft edits every single time. Now back to keeping an open mind. Chances are that the client you're working for knows their niche and brand a lot better than you do. So you do need to respect that and just know that any changes that they want in the video might actually be for the better. Now hold your ground to an extent because at the end of the day, the customer is always right. Now you've probably heard that about a million times ever since you were little and growing up. You've heard your family say it, your friends say it, you've heard it in movies, the customer is always right. So let's say you do get hit with 20 re-edits and you know, maybe you're not super happy about that because you thought the first draft of the video was perfect. You know, make the changes that you feel are best to um, swap out and change out and turn that revised draft around to the client next day and show that, you know, you're here to work and you're here to get this done. Whatever re-edits you want, I will make. And chances are that client is actually gonna end up rehiring you in the future or they will pass your company's name around through word of mouth, which could actually lead to other clients outside of the original client that you were just working with. And I've heard about all the horror stories that have happened in the filmmaking world and the filmmaking industry. Don't make a big fuss about things because it's just not the end of the world. This will build really good street smarts and just be a really good learning experience um, in your niche of being a videographer. Now this is a very common example. Let's say you go and shoot a video one day and you already have your client hounding you for the um, for the first draft of the video the next day. And maybe it's not just once a day, it's five times a day for a week straight. If I ever do feel this way and somebody is, you know, maybe messaging me a little too much or, you know, it's only been 48 hours since we shot and, you know, they haven't paid any extra for a next day edit, you know, I will break it down to them nicely. You know, you don't want to tell the person to screw off. Obviously, you want to be nice about it. I think it's best to just break it down and explain to people that they aren't your only client that you're working with and you do have multiple projects and ongoing work. So what I like to do is give people a realistic deadline. So I will say yes, the video isn't finished yet, it's about halfway done, I will need an extra six days when realistically I only maybe need four. So at this point, you will turn the video around. If you do finish it in the four or five days, you can finish it a day or two early, send it to the client and they're happy that um, you know they unexpectedly got a final draft of their video edited and sent to them you know one or two days early. But at the end of the day, everyone will have a picky client. There's nothing wrong with a picky client. They just want the most out of the work that you're providing them with. But like I said earlier, look at the big picture. Take a step back and look at the big picture. Now keep in mind whatever you are providing them with whether it is a video 
or a photo or whatever, you can add this to your portfolio, guys. You can now add certain clips of this video into your highlight reel that you really like. You can add it to your website. You can add it to your social medias like your Facebook or Instagram. You can repurpose this video and this piece of content and I already listed four ways and I'm sure there's plenty more. So let's say you do finish the final draft and the video is ready to be posted and you do reshare it on your Facebook and Instagram. What if another company maybe in the same niche really likes that video and wants to hire you for their video? You really never know who's watching your content. You know, always think of the day that you can you know, sell this piece of content and you really never know who's checking out your website, your Instagram page, your Facebook page, or your YouTube channel, who would want a similar video to the one that you had to put so much extra time and effort into that might pay you maybe three times as much money for um, maybe the, a very similar style of video. Now, speaking of portfolio pieces and highlight reels, our online store right now is actually 50% off. And a few of the products that we're actually selling on our online shop is raw 4K files from entire music video and car video sets. Then you can purchase these packs and edit the videos all on your own and showcase them on your Instagram page, your Facebook, your YouTube channel, or even your highlight reel to help sell yourself even more as a creator. And not only that, but it's just extra practice for editing creative videos. So if you guys wanna check out the online shop right now that's currently 50% off for the entire next month, I'll leave that link in the description as well as in the comment section of this YouTube video. All right guys, so that's it for how I deal with picky clients and you know how I look at the situation as a whole rather than being closed-minded. If you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment down below if you guys have ever deal with a picky client and do you guys agree with the points that I've made or do you approach things differently. Also if you don't subscribe to the channel consider doing so as I post a lot of filmmaking tips and tricks and very in-depth behind the scenes videos on my film sets. So with all that being said guys make sure to like comment and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.